Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and on your screen you can see now the Zaha Hadil building in Saudi Arabia. So we will create two dates, we will create the mass form. Uh, I will split this tutorial by two tutorials. So the first tutorial we will try to create this part of the building and the second one we will try to create the canopy of this building. So today we will create the uh, one of the part of this building and I will show you technique how you can use it and we will create some panels for this uh, for this tutorial. So let's get started. Before we will continue I really highly recommend you or watch the, my previous video about the curtain walls because here as you can see we will uh, use the curtain walls uh, as much as we can because uh, all the exterior walls it looks like curtain wall. So if you don't know what is that curtain wall and curtain system, check my previous video and back to this video after it, uh, where you, when you will watch uh, the, my video about the curtain wall. Who those who already did it, uh, we can continue and we will start from the mass form of this building. So let's go back to the mm, to the Revit and we will create the new project. So I'm always using creating the new project when I want to show you how to create the mess. Let's say I'll use uh, some standard template from the Autodesk. Now here we are and we will uh, switch now to the mess end side. Make sure your uh, show mess is on. Let's do it. And we will use uh, mess in place in this tutorial. Why not? Let's say OK. And first we need to create some uh, mess or some uh, mess of our building. Uh, let's have a look uh, our building. Here is our building and let's check how it looks like. I not will try to copy because uh, I checked the internet. I didn't find any uh, any clear uh, drawings of this building. Uh, I understand why because this building it's uh, not uh, uh, not as usual. This building it's uh, a bit unique and I have only this one for example. But even this one, this is just a sketch or concept idea. So anyway, I will use some picture to create the form. As you can see, we have like uh, here so many angles. Let's try create like this. Uh, I will create, for example, now uh, some square. And after that, I will try uh, to make the some kind of same shape of this building. Let's say it will be like this. Now I'm doing, as you can see, uh, the ground floor. So let's have a look. Okay, this is some, some kind of, yeah, kind of this shape. Maybe this one I will do like this. Okay, so uh, we will leave like that. So after that, I'll just extrude this. Let's go now in 3D and we will work now in 3D. So I will uh, choose this part. Uh, now it's 3 meter. It's not enough. Let's make like so 4.5, 4.5 meter. And after that, I need uh, I need make it a bit bigger. Uh, let's I'll check one more time. Okay, this part I don't want to change. This is will be straight. Uh, so this part will be straight and let's make for example some scale here Why not? We will use the scale like this Okay This okay Let's try let's check it one more time again. Uh-huh this we have to some line and after that we have the on the other position So let's do the same thing mm. I will extrude one more time and now this part I will make uh, now different I will make it smaller I will use uh, the scale and let's make it smaller like this let's go on the top scale this part and make it smaller Why it's locked, and it's not no no not the problem. So now I think okay. So we scaled it, and now this part we can move it here. So as you can see here, so much manual work. This is okay, because uh, this is not ordinary building. 
where you have only one axis. Here we should work manually. By the way, if you know the grasshopper or you know the rhino, you can do this as more faster and more clear. But who, those who don't know uh, the grasshopper and rhino, you can use this manual, uh, manual way to create this form. So let's make it like 2.1, so it is okay. So we created this form. Let's uh, let's check one more time. Uh, as you can see, this this form is much bigger than our. I think my it's uh, like uh, five meter by six meter, but here it's around twenty five, but something else. But it doesn't matter. You know how to create this form. So you just uh, you creating like one extrude after that, other one extrude, and after that we need one more extrude. Uh, to create this uh, this window here. So let's do it. This is one here. Uh, let's do one more extrusion. Now I need only like few meters. Let's do like this. After that I will use this mod. Top of that. From this part to this part. It's, a, it's again locked, so unlock it. Let's do it again. Okay, and now just go back side like this. Now you understand, so we will create here the light, uh, light portal. So this one I will do like this. And it looks not bad, so. And that one I can put a bit here. No, I will leave like that. So let's say okay, and let's have a look what we get. Here is our shape shape of our one of the part building and now we will create uh, the um, form uh, with the curtain system and let's do it and actually everything is really simple when you already finish your mess uh, mess form you should go to the mess inside and find here the curtain system by the way you can create your mess form not only in Revit, you can create it in SketchUp, you can create in 3D Max, even in Rhino and import it here as generic model. After that, oh sorry, not generic model, as the mess. Even generic model also can, can, be, can be used to create curtain system. I will show you it right later on. So let's go to the curtain system and now Revit asking us to choose uh, the mm, ages what we want used to our curtain system. As I said, this uh, this wall is will be to connect to the other part of this building. So I will use only these parts of this building. For example, like this, and maybe this one too, and of course all these parts. So as you can see, this is wrong. This is not what I want. I want to use this part. This is minus, why it's minus? I want select, please select that. Just use top key to choose what you want select. And select after that curtain system. So uh, let's switch off my mess to see the my, my only my geometry here. So uh, I still can see my geometry. So what we can do, we can go to the visual graphic and here just uncheck the mess. Now we can see only my clear geometry. So and after that you should prepare all the things what you have here. So first thing I will change my panels uh, from the none to the solid. Let's change it to the solid like this. Okay. So after that, uh, let's have a look at our uh, panels. So the first thing, my panels are under some angle. As you can see, it's around 30 degree or 45 degree. Uh, it looks like 30 degree. And actually, this is really big, like uh, one and a half meter by three meter. So it looks like this, but I will make the twice smaller. So here I have by default one and a half by three and I will make 750 by one and a half because my building now it's really small and I don't do not need to use the same panels. So just few seconds when it will finish. So here we are and you can see I did some mistake. Let's check what mistake I did. Let's go to the edit and as you can see, I forgot one here, the one zero. 
it happens this is not a problem we can change it every time uh, let's go back and let's see the other my mistakes so are uh, not we don't have any mistakes we did what we want the second thing what we should to do uh, let's check the other thing like uh, first uh, uh, I need like 30 degree the angle right let's make 30 degree angle and let's check is it this right uh, yes I hope Yes, this is right. This, this, that, that one. What I want. But the thing uh, when you are uh, using all the faces, you will get the problem like you are now working with all faces like uh, like one. But as you can see here, the different angles. So this is really wrong. Let's I'll delete this one. I will switch on my mess and I will create again my system. But now I will create one by one. One this, one this, one this, and one this. And as you can see, now it's really different uh, curtain walls. And now I can do um, some changes manually. For example, here I can see I need some angle on the vertical part. Let's go back and you will see it here. You can see this is uh, have some angle. It's not really really straight. Let's go and find some pictures. Uh, so here it's straight. Okay, but here it's not. But we will try make some same composition. For example, it's here you can see, right? Okay, here the straight things. Let's check. Uh, so this is. Let's go on to this view. Okay, here everything okay. Here not. As you can see, this is wrong. Let's make like uh, maybe 10 degree. We will check just. Okay, 10 degree. This is really awesome. What we want, as you can see. And after that, I want make some offset here. So I will choose these panels and let's make offset like minus 100 millimeter. Nope. Minus 500 millimeter. No. Uh, actually here I think 1000 millimeter. Nope. Uh, 500 millimeter. Uh, pretty, pretty close as you can see. 550. No. And you just need to try and try where is your right position. I think this one. No, actually no. This is pretty close. Let's make here some changes. Minus 100. Plus 100. Plus 150. 200. Oh my god, it's a bit, it's just a bit. Oh, done, finally. We did it, this result. Okay, so, and after, this is actually not finished because we need uh, here also some, make some offset. And we did it uh, pretty, pretty close. Let's make like 150. And this is really pretty close to our result. And as you can see, uh, where we can find, I think here we can find, let's, I'll try to zoom this zoom this uh, oh to zoom it uh, you should register it okay i don't want to register it i'm too lazy and as you can see here it's not properly uh the panels it's different on the uh, on this part you can see it here it's really different it looks like we have uh, uh, on this uh, situation so but some of these panels you should delete for example these panels uh, we should delete the this line uh, first, uh -huh, here and check. Okay. Let's try. Where is my line? Here is my line. And just delete this line. So we will make it a bit clear. For example, here I will do the same thing. I will delete this part. Like this. Let's make it clear. Because some additional panels we can make a bit bigger, but all of them no need. And here I will do the same thing. So I will delete this part. Okay, now it looks more better than we have before. So here I will do like this, not 150, I will make like 100 to maybe I will make like 108. A bit less. Okay, this is really good. So, and by this way, you should uh, you should make some changes uh, one by one. 
in uh, your uh, panels and when you will finish of course you should change your panels and create your own panels to get uh, for example kind of result like this one like on the facade you can see it here so this is really simple i will show you how you can create it right now so uh let's go back to the Revit, and we will create now a new panel so here we have the panel i will unpin it and I will go to edit in place because we can edit in place uh, in this view. So I will go back view and where is my panel? My panel is here. I will use the void form. Uh, here the void form extrusion set the work plane. So work plane, this is uh, your uh, working, uh, working plane. So where you can work. So pick the plane and pick this plane. And let's draw it like this like this and this one I will delete after that I will make some offset let's make like radius maybe 50 I think it will be enough yeah this is really cool and let's say okay now let's go to 3d and let's check what we have here so I will extrude a bit here okay and let's join it ah it's already joined and let's say finish so as you can see we get our panel really fast uh, but we did this panel in local so it means uh, this is just uh, we make the changes only for this panel uh, you can create your own panel but the but uh, by the same way and uh, just apply for example you can choose your uh, panel unpin it and you can just apply it by using the other panel so this is really possible but this way i will show you in the next time when i will finish all these buildings so you know you know uh, how create this type of the building just create few of them and uh, we will continue in the next video but now it's uh, thank you for watching and see you soon and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.